Okay, are we ready to go? Almost. There it is, because I have no camera on the other side, so make sure you're in shot. Okay. All right, I will give you guys, you guys take your time. You should be fine. Like I said, you can skip over Noah's part, okay? And, but take time, but watch your time as well, okay? Okay. Is it in Google or is it in somewhere? It's in a PowerPoint. Okay. Or a PowerPoint. Okay, try to, I would, in the future, make a Google slide for this so you can all work on it and it can, you can see what you do, because you're not going to have the same sections at the end. Okay, which you created a section for part one, but someone might take that over for the final presentation because you have four, you know, you have two more parts to write up. Trust me. Okay, just create a Google slide if you can, so you can all view it and watch it. Same with the same with the doc, so you can all work on that too. We all we all have, we all have one. Yeah, we're all working on this one. On this one? Yeah. Oh, you can work through through yeah. iLearn on it through yeah. PowerPoint. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, my bad. My mistake. All right, let's get going. You guys are ready to go. I got 55 and we'll have questions. All right, ready? Yes. And I might stop you. Okay, but even though this is not graded, take it like it would be. Okay, so be standing up, be in your section. If you need your computer or something, you can look at it as you present. But we should all be standing right now, not on a table. That's okay. We're learning. Okay, good. All right, if I stop you, I'll correct you. Just remember if I'm writing, I'm just making notes. You may begin. Okay, part two, starting with overview. Andy, you're out of the computer. Yeah, you can go on the other side if you need to. Oh, geez, I'm in. Okay. Okay. All right, let's start over. Okay, go ahead, begin. Okay, overview of ministry. So for mentors, they after Okay, the stop for just a second. When you're presenting, usually, um, if this was the first time you'd introduce yourself and your team members, because oh. it's not the first time, you don't need to introduce your team members, but always when you're introducing a section, you introduce yourself right okay. off the bat. Hi, my name is Scott Woman, and I will be presenting the overview of the industry and then begin. Okay, sorry. I just that's thought what, because we were doing part two, I thought that would have been. Don't worry. That's why we're learning. Okay. okay thank you. Go again. Okay. So should I say that then? Yep. Okay. <laughs> For part two of this business plan, I'm Claire Coleman. Very good. Okay. Yep, okay. <laughs> and now we will start with the overview of the industry. So for one source, the operating property management industry, which is a $101.3 billion industry in revenue, revenue, not profit. Um, for market segmentation, uh, the biggest part is residential property management, non-residential property management, other uh, real estate and brokerage services. And if you just look at the numbers real quick, the biggest one is residential property management. So there's a lot of areas where one source can improve and take advantage of the different operations they do, considering they do three of four. <laughs> we, need the, we need that clicker. Okay, continuing on. So businesses within the industry is 29,000, which is a lot. And for the past five years, there's been 4.3% annual growth within those businesses. And for the next five years, it's only 2.6% and that's projected. And a lot of that is contributed to the pandemic and the economic downturn. So we're slowly growing like that. Um, industry growth for the, next, for, for the past five years was 1.7%. Okay. And it's projected to grow 1.9% also reflects the pandemic. Um, and the profit also reflects that because it went down from 11.6% to 10.4% as a whole for profit. Good, great numbers. Good. Okay. okay. <laughs> and finally, uh, we have some key external drivers in the industry. So, first one is home ownership rates, which I did not realize yellow is my hardest thing, so I'll change my own. But I put it in yellow because since it's expected to increase, that can kind of be bad for the industry depending on the, the different operation, considering more home ownership rates, less people renting. So it kind of puts pressure on that. And the rental vacancy rates as a whole are expected to increase. And I think that is due to, due to the pandemic and that's bad right? because it would hurt the industry, hurt the profits, hurt the revenue. And then office rental vacancy rates. Okay. Are so I'm just gonna stop you right there. I've got it. 
Um, I would move on just because of time. Is this your last slide? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, that's okay. Let's move on to the next person just because of time. Good, good work though. So I'm Avery and I'm talking on competitors. So as Claire said before, one source is in the project management service industry. And this means it is regional because there are no major players in this industry. And because it's regional, regional, it's highly fragmented and there's a very small market share, which means that there are many businesses in the industry. And because of how many businesses there are, there are there's a low barriers to enter and low capital cost, which makes it very easy for companies yeah. to go in and out of this industry. But it also makes the competition medium to high because of all the companies in this industry. Good. Um, the services of the companies that are in this industry are, as Claire said earlier, residential property management, non-residential property management, real estate agents, and brokerage services. The activities of these companies are mostly handyman and contracting services. And then the two major competitors that we're touching on today with one source mm -hmm. is Rheology Holding Corporation, which is a publicly owned real estate and relocation service company. And yeah. the last one we're talking about is Newmark and Company Real Estate Incorporated, which is a major commercial real estate advisory firm. Okay. Hi, my name is Sabrina. Um, I'm going to be presenting on the positioning of OneSource. Um, so starting off, uh, OneSource mainly operates out of Connecticut and it's beginning to branch out into New York. Uh, between the two competitors, Rheology uh, Holding Corporation operates out of 49 uh, out of the 50 states, um, including Washington, D.C., uh, but they do do all clothing in uh, 50 states. Good. Uh, so the general total revenue uh, is about $8 billion um, in 2021, okay. uh, making it the largest owned brokerage company uh, by sales and volume in the U.S. Uh, they are affiliated with Coldwell Banking, our banker, Sotheby's International Realty, and uh, Corcoran Group. Mm -hmm. um, and then moving on to the next uh, competitor, New Market Company Real Estate uh, Incorporated. Um, they provide a full suite of services uh, such as leasing advisory, global corporate services, consulting uh, advisory services uh, to investors and corporations, uh, property owners worldwide. Uh, properties across the entire globe uh, are owned by these, <laughs> this company. Uh, they have the office space uh, around 430 offices that go across six continents. Uh, Newmark generates around two uh, two point nine million dollars in revenue annually. Okay. Um, while OneSource has a very strong competition, um, they still have plenty of very remarkable aspects to them uh, that make them stand out. For example, they provide the handyman services to their uh, local property management. Um, that helps with a variety of needs, including interior and exterior uh, services, so that they can keep their business in mind because they don't have to worry about that. Uh, also, one source provides a network of energy management, which also stands them out because the competitors only cover the real estate uh, service industry instead of energy. Good. Good. So this, it'll be two. Don't don't rush in. Remember to introduce yourself in the section you cover. No, I'm I'm explaining to you about the slide first. So okay. it's gonna be two pages and it will have three pictures. Okay. Okay. Uh, so my name is Anita and I will be presenting the SWOT analysis. Okay. So um we're gonna start with the strength. The greatest strength of the company is how it's self connecting, making it the largest owner and operator of US residential real estate brokerages. And in addition, it is under an umbrella parent firms that help with the company's visibility and connections. And as outstanding as Rheology is in terms of being like a top player in the real estate corporate sector, with about 200,000 independent sales agents in the US and about 100,000 in, well, across the globe, um, the weakness of the business seems to be that it's struggling to compete with these brokerages. And the disadvantage is that it does not provide cloud based brokerages since it's traditional. And in order for them to keep competing, they need to develop their technology center. So moving on to the threats, the threats are the extensions of the weakness in a way, um, because it's not able to keep up with competition. So uh, start the companies have threat utilities, and adding on to that, they're aggressively approaching agents, tempting to give them offers that Rheology cannot financially match with. 
Um, an additional threat would be uh, stock price is trading extremely, extremely depressively. So on a general level, this is an economic trend that most organizations um, are not, <laughs> most organizations are um, facing basically, but specifically looking at DOT, we can see that it is in the debt. This is bad because if the company keeps deteriorating, it won't be long before the debt burden becomes a concern. And uh, finally, moving on to the opportunities, possibility stated by having high value assets contributes to the company's success. For example, um, sales of houses worth one million or more soared 100% in March compared to prior years. Okay, good. Good? Okay. All right. Good. Very good. Let me shut this down.